by Major Clang, or welcome to Gonzo Airsoft. This is a special episode for Airsoft Geek's Channel Ambush Project. Now, what Airsoft Geek is doing is uh, taking submissions for Airsoft channels, asking them to put together a short video describing who, what, where, when, and why of their Airsoft channel. Then he'll offer a critique and some, some feedback to hopefully improve uh, everyone's videos. It's something I wanted to do and I, it's been a useful project for me because it's got me to think about uh, my channel and really where it's going and, and what I want to do with it. So I'll start with the who. I relatively recently started Airsoft. I started about 10 months ago. Uh, it was something that I came to uh, like a lot of people stumbled across Scout the Doggies videos and was really impressed by what I saw um, was keen to to give that a try. Having gone along to my local site which is Airsoft Edinburgh run by Land Warrior I found that I absolutely loved it and the next kind of natural step for me was to start incorporating uh, some filmmaking in that as another hobby something that I've been doing for quite a while is making short films and I was very keen to uh, see what I what I could do in an airsoft way now I do love Scout the Doggies uh, videos and so my first thought was to try and do something like that but then it occurred to me quite quickly that if I'm doing those type of videos I'm not actually out playing so it made sense to me to start doing first person footage Having a look on the internet, I've seen that there is quite a lot of first-person footage out there. It can be really difficult to understand what is going on. Uh, often the stuff that uh, the person is shooting at is too distant. You can't actually see uh, what they're with it firing at. And uh, a lot of people try to get around this uh, by using on-screen titles. But I thought that perhaps there was an extra element that could be added channels like uh, Pixel Enemy or Don't Revive Me Bro. They post gameplay footage of uh, computer games and something that they do is they post footage and then they do a, a commentary over it. I figured that this was something that I could take and use for Airsoft. So I've now got about uh, a dozen or so uh, videos on my channel and I'm releasing them at a uh, roughly uh, once a week. I'm aiming to get one out ev or every Wednesday. I'm playing, uh, I'm based in the centre of Scotland and it turns out I've landed quite lucky. I didn't realise that when I started Airsoft that that was a, a hot spot for Airsoft playing. Uh, I haven't uh, really made it out to a lot of this, the sites roundabout yet been primarily playing at uh, Airsoft Edinburgh but I do intend to make it out to some of the other sites and I'm looking forward to uh, trying some of the different play styles uh, having I recently attended a, a Milsim game enjoyed that I'm looking forward to getting a bit of a close quarters uh, why I'm doing my channel well, we, we've kind of covered why but there, there is an extra element to that. Uh, I've got a couple other people lined up to do uh, commentary and so ultimately it probably won't just be me on this channel. I would like to keep the channel focused on first person footage with commentary but I'm probably not going to get into the full blown uh, AEG reviews etc. There's loads of people doing those that at the moment uh, much better than I ever could and they've got much better access to, to kit than I would so Good. that's probably not something you won't see on, on my channel so please if you haven't already please do go and check check out my videos I would love it if you you come along and say hi uh, but for now this is Major Clanger out <laughs>